And uh, I think it's Exodus 17. In Exodus 17, jo uh, Moses is standing, and I believe it's Aaron and her that holds up his arm. And as long as his arm is being held up by them, they win the battle. Right, right, right. Well, the Lord is blessed in these 19 years. I've had two such that have held up my arms. Ellie, yeah. Storyteller Simmons. Amen. You know that name catches those. <laughs> <laughs> and my wonderful wife, Priscilla Gillery Brown. Amen. 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 I thank the Lord for all that's gathered here today. And what happened here today is a lesson on what God has already been showing me. You know, you can't be covered if you can't be corrected. What I did is, you know, you know, if you peach me, I, I, you know, I, I'm a man. I feel that, right? That's right. So I'm, it's 19 years, and I'm sitting at my desk at the house with Priscilla not sitting there. I'm sitting at my desk at the house, and I said, Lord, 19 years. I said, Lord, I said, I said, Lord, I've done what you told me to do. I, I say, but I say, but it looked like it's the same. And God didn't answer me. Now, y'all, God gave me this earlier, but he said, don't say nothing. You know, it's hard to hold stuff like that. Well, God said, no, nah, don't say it until then. So I'm, I'm second guessing. I'm like, Lord, I know I heard you because I pray and I meditate. I spend time in your word. I try to live a Christian life as a believer, as a pastor, as a bishop, as a counselor, and other, all other hats I wear. And then also, you know, when God told me to do something, because I'm a step-by-step -step person, God would tell me to do something, but he wouldn't tell me to do it all at one time. That's why we end up with radio, podcasting, television, and the list goes on and on, because if God would have told me all that at one time, I'd say, oh, hold on, Lord. Right, right, right. But he gave it to me one step at a time. I'm going somewhere with this, y'all. Well, in 2019 and 2020, I watched how churches were scrambling to stay afloat. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Zion kept going. And I said, God, I say, I'm talking to pastors to stress. I'm seeing pastors to stress. Yes. And I looked at the number in Texas alone, 900 a month. What they said that throughout the world that it was in the thousands that will never open again. My Lord. We was a high bird church in 2011. We already had started doing digital. We already had started reaching. We are, because let me tell you, oh, let me, let me back up. In case y'all didn't know, pastors get disappointed sometimes too. Yes, they do. Yes, yes. One day, and I counted y'all, I don't remember what Sunday it was. It was me, Priscilla, my wife, Ellie, Ellie Jr., Sharon, Sister Love, Brother Love, the twins, and Sister Pepper. That's 10, right? And it was 10 sitting in. I said, God, I say, we 18, we not almost 19 years old. I say, Lord, what am I doing wrong? Mm. Everything you tell me, I say, I make sure that's what you told me to do. I pray on it. I meditate. I say, what's going on? And God said, you count the seeds. Mm. So I say, okay, God, you came in an outreach to do Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries. And my wife ain't even heard the story. I had to keep it, and I'm laying right next to her. Lord, say, don't tell her. Wait. So I start doing the analytics that I kept up with, or I was able to see 
and I saw, and you can look on my Facebook page, I wrote it down, August the 20th, 2022, it says that we've reached 10,000 plus this year. Mm, my God. And I desire for everybody to like, share, and comment because I would like it to be 50,000. I posted that and I was through. I was like, okay, God. Okay, doing that. Because I know you told me to do that in. I know you told me to reach on the inside and the outside. I know you told me that. I got that clear. So a few months pass. And the Holy Spirit say, I added three zeros. And I was confused. I looked at the 10 that was in the sea. And then I looked at the numbers that I saw from the analytics we had, and it was 10,000. My God, my God. The Spirit said, I added three zeros. And so me, the man in me, because we was with Kingdom Purpose TV, I say, well, let me see how many we was reaching on Kingdom Purpose. And the Spirit said, I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> he said, don't worry about the number. He said, I'm the one that's doing the count. Amen. So me, with my intellectual, analytical self, I... I multiplied 100 times zero. And you know what that is? Y'all mathematicians, y'all know what that is? One, any number multiplied by zero ends up with zero. I say, so God, you not multiply me? He say, no. So what I did is, is I took 100 again, and I divided it by zero. <laughs> and do you know, try it on your calculator. I know y'all can do that quickly. It won't happen. It will give you an indefinite number yep. because you cannot divide yep. 100 into zero. Right. You can't divide <laughs> zero into it. It won't even work. It won't work. Now, I did, I, you know, 100 is just the number I picked. So I had the 100 and I added a zero to it and I said, well, I end up with the same number. And so the Holy Spirit came back to me again. Y'all know I, I spent time in prayer. And what the Holy Spirit gave me is something that had me where I couldn't sleep for three nights. I wake up through the night two or three times. He said, I'm adding zero. Somebody write this down. I'm adding zeros as I see fit. And I'm adding them to the right. <laughs> Does somebody get Come that? On now. Come on now. If you got 10 and you add one zero, how much is that? If you have 100 and you add one zero, how much is that? If you add 1,000 and you add one zero, how much is that? And God just kept on doing it and he said, I don't keep adding zeros. He said, account ain't your business. Obedience is your business. Keep doing what I say. Bishop talked about the crows. Y'all, I can't even count the crows no more. <laughs> Y'all know that it's pastor that told me crow shopping come on with me. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Can't count the crows no more. Can't count the chickens because they were scared. Oh, my God. My mom was a very spiritual, wonderful woman of God, and my spiritual foundation came from Hartis Marie Brown. Yes, yes. But my dad had told me one thing that has to relate to spiritual, that has to relate to church, that I've never forget all my life. She said, but he said, boy, if the Lord tell you to do something, he said, don't stop no matter what. That's right, amen. amen. He said, don't stop no matter what. Right. So this is what began, but God began to show me Bishop was confirmation. 
We did the plan. You, he, she read that in the history. We're going to pick out the land. And God says, it's people that's been watching this ministry yes. waiting to give. That's right. Mm. I have confirmed people in Pakistan that's looking at Zion. Come on. Mm. People in Nigeria that's looking at Zion. Amen. People all over the United States that's looking at Zion. So sometimes people might wonder why he all excited and it ain't for 10. Because it's not 10. Amen. God said, you just do what I say. And then it's the thing. So you can't be covered if you can't be protected. If you can't be uh, covered if you can't be corrected. God said, Bishop Brown. Don't you know I don't count like other folks? Mm -hmm. Did you forget Gideon? I don't count like other people. <laughs> he said, if you had a whole bunch of folks, and I know folks don't come in bunches, he say, that's why they're doing that. <laughs> but you're doing it with the faithful. Because you're doing what I say. He said, I'm not adding zeros to the equation as addition. I'm adding zeros to the right. Somebody say zeros to the right. Zeros to the right. To the right. Do y'all know I still never called, I still never wrote to Kingdom Purpose TV to see what our numbers was. And they wasn't even included in the 10,000. So since God say, don't call, you know what I'm going to do? Don't call. Ain't okay. my business. Okay. You know what God has shown me? He said, your business is to stay focused. That's it. Oh, Bishop, man, I was almost about to run back there, but I ain't going to knock up on it. Just stay focused and faithful. And I got you. I said, Lord, why, why do I go through some of the things I do? He said, because you ain't scared. That's all the fearness. <laughs> well, you in my house, people. <laughs> he said, just keep the faith. That's all the patience right there. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to say it. Because <laughs> God told me I could say it today. You know about the zeros, right? He says, what I planted in you is going to reach millions. Amen. 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 So I, I, I ain't going to play with y'all. I had to sit down. Amen. He says, it's, he says it's already reaching more than you know, but I don't want you to get caught up in numbers. That's right. That's right. I, I just want you to do what I say. I remember one time, I'm like, man, this ain't working out. And Ellie's storyteller said, he looked in my face and said, Bishop, he said, I'll listen to anything you have to say, but then you're going to quit. Because God called us to this work. That's right. That's right. You remember that? I remember, I remember one time, I was like, I'm, I'm sitting there looking at the computer, the computer looking at me. I got a blank sheet of paper and all that. And this, this pretty woman back here said, well, baby, just do what God told you to do. That's right. She might not even remember saying it. She said, well, baby, just do what God told you to do. That's right. That's right. And you know what God told me to do? Told be faithful. You. She told you right. That's right. Don't she, told you. she said, be faithful. <laughs> See, we so busy looking in the natural until we can't see what God is showing us. That's right. There's a prophetess, oh, 1,500 miles away. She called me one day and she said, Bishop, 
She say the way you want the building to be the way that God showed you to, to, to put it. She say it's going to take two architects Ooh. to work out the details mm -hmm. because of the type of facility that you want. Mm -hmm. Because when we went to the architect, and this is a strange thing, we, <laughs> we went to the architect with an idea on a piece of paper that the Lord gave me. And he knew exactly what I was talking about. Amen. Amen. Our hour consultation turned into three hours. And he got excited about when the building going to be built. Amen. He said, Bishop, because the way you do ministry, it's going to take that. He said, but I've designed all kinds, and I know just the type of thing that you're asking for, and it's not as strange as you think. <laughs> because you want to build a church that ain't a church. All right. Because let me tell y'all something before I sit down. God told me a long time ago that the church is not a building. Amen. And I got that. The Ark of the Covenant that carried it. The Bible says, the biblical statistician says it was 1.3 million people. Mm -hmm. They had the, the tents for the sacrifice, but they didn't have no building. We stuck on buildings. You know, the success of a church guy is the, the budget, the building, the parking lot, and all those other kind of things. I said, well, God, what you, how, how, what's a successful servant for you? He said, somebody do what I say. Yeah. 19 years. My babies, and they ain't babies no more. They grew up in Zion. And supported their dad, and they still do as women of God now. Amen. Amen. Thank God. There was a time when I was looking at the seed, and I was looking at the numbers and all those kind of things, but Easter messed me up. Easter messed me up. I'm looking at Luke with Mary Magdalene. And the other Mary, you know how they always call her the other Mary? Don't even say her whole name, the other Mary. Y'all, let me, you know, you know what? God began to work with me on that. Sometimes folk not gonna know your name. Sometimes folk not gonna give you credit. Sometimes folks gonna belittle what you're doing, but the other Mary showed up too. But look at this. God used two women. Yes, 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 he did. To spark the evangelism to reach the world. Amen. Yes, yes. Gideon already didn't have enough, so he thought. And God said, You got too many. <laughs> huh? I'm going somewhere with this. Somebody gonna get mad at me. Do y'all know? And somebody that, that used to be here might get mad at me, but that's all right. They'll get they'll get glad in them same past. Them same past. Y'all know we're doing more with 10 than when we had 30. Woo! What you say? I said, God, why'd you do that? He said, I was pruning some folks for you. Yes, yes, everybody can't go. Because everybody can't go where you're going. That's right. That's right. Found out they crows. <laughs> and I know it's been times that what I stood at the sacred desk and said, it looked like it was crazy as can be. But this man sitting right here, Pastor Elder B. Silver, say, Bishop, when we gonna start? We ain't talked about no money yet. He said, Bishop, when we gonna start? Amen. Faith. And my wife, she she a follow up with it. That's what the Lord told you to do. There you go. <laughs> Acknowledge who's your support and who's your help. Thank those that stand with you. Amen. And let God do the count. Amen. God says, 
that this ministry shall reach millions. I know the number is 10,000 plus now, but I ain't looking at the number no more for right now. We're going to let Tony keep up with that. And I'll ask if God tell me to ask. We're going to keep preaching, keep teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're going to keep teaching, keep preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because 100 times zero is what? Zero. But if he add them zeros to the right. And he told me that he do it as he sees fit. So what I did, the natural in me started adding zeros to the right. And God said, I didn't tell you to do that. I'm doing the count. Because guess what? And I'm going to close. He can, he can add the zeros on the inside or the outside. That's right. He can add it in, in, in an evangelistic arm, but he can add it in the sanctuary. That's his business. That ain't my business. That's his business. My job is to stand and preach a word that you can find in your Bible. That's why I'm going to stay focused, stay faithful. Stay fearless and have patience, and the vision is coming to pass. Amen? Amen. Amen. Y'all ready to add zeros? Y'all ready to pray to add zeros? Amen. Now, the Lord, the one add the zeros, I just need somebody to stand with me. Can you stand with me? Amen. Zero. To the right, to the right. God got this. I'm going to be reading the church history from the pastor's desk. Amen. Zion Tabernacle Church started on January 11, 2004, with an inaugural celebration. We began the church by having Bible study lessons at the hotel meeting rooms. Our first official worship service was in April of 2004 on Easter Sunday at the Holiday Inn Select on High on. I-10 and Highway 6. The foundation of the church has always been to be a church that teaches and preaches the word of God. Sparrow Ministries, the helping ministry of Zion, was started at the same time as the church. We have donated over 300 pounds of food to the Houston Food Bank and over 70 pound, 75 pounds of food to Feed the Poor International. In May of 2010, Zion Transforming Life Ministries and Victory of Truth Ministries collaborated to host a walkathon called Christian, Integr Christian Sexual Integrity Movement Amen. to raise awareness for our Christian responsibility to walk in holiness. In 2011, the church be first began to develop ministries that were primarily evangelism focused and digitally driven. Pen Mail, under the direction of Antonio Dotson, was one of our first companies we consulted to help grow our digital footprint. Antonio Dalton is still a part of our strategic digital planning and media infrastructure and is the present director of digital communications for Zion Tabernacle Church and Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries. The following year in 2012 is when Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries began to serve as the evangelism arm of Zion Tabernacle Church. Through the years of evangelism efforts, we have reached over 17 different countries. In two, between 2017 and 2020, Zion Tabernacle donated more than 225 Bibles to Kenya. We have the most concentration in the United States, Kenya, Ghana, Australia, India, Pakistan, Nigeria, and the United Kingdom, and many more. Zion has a radio presence for about 10 years with our program, Building Winning Lives. Our phone app was started in 2015. Zion Tabernacle was on Rima Word TV from 2016 to 2020. In 2020, we launched Building Winning Lives podcast as a teaching platform for practical Bible lessons and released our first book, Are You Ready? We are now with Kingdom Purpose TV. 
We have been with Kingdom Purpose TV for almost three years and have made the list of the top five programs two different times. June of 2021, Bishop KJ Brown Radio was started on 365 Radio Live Network. In June of 2021, we met with an architect for the pre-planning and construction assessment for building a multi-purpose ministry facility for Bishop KJ Brown Ministries and Zion Tabernacle Church. We have been in our current lo location for about seven years. God has been on our side. I'm very grateful for the support and faithful leadership of Zion's executive pastor, Pastor Ellie Storyteller Simmons, and my loving wife, Priscilla Gillery Brown, who is the church administrator, along with so many other duties that she takes on. Thanks for the support of the Zion family, and especially the first family. Zion, we are looking forward in faith for even more to come. Walk with me as I listen to God and continue to move forward in the vision that God has put in my mind and heart. We not only have history, but we have a bright future as we continue to build a kingdom of God. And remember, God wants you to win. In his service and for his glory, Bishop K.J. Brown, Senior Pastor of Zion Tabernacle Church. Amen. 